first step, the preparation of the substrate cells. You can use either blood cells or cells in culture. Okay, great. So first step is to expose your cells. For basic scission repair, we're going to expose them to the rogue compound to induce oxidative DNA damage. So we have two flasks that we prepare with uh, attaching cells. First flask we are going to use to expose cells to rogue compound. And then we have a second flask that we will use to prepare control cells and they will only be exposed to PBS. So first we're going to remove the medium from both flasks. Next, we will wash the plates with PBS. After washing, we will um, put on one plate the raw compound. We pre-prepared concentration of one micromolar of raw compound in cold PBS. We put 10 milliliters of this solution on top of the cells. And on the control plate, we will put just 10 milliliters of cold PBS. Both plates will now be transferred to an ice box for exposure. The plates are 33 centimeters below a 500 watt lamp and we expose the cells for 5 minutes with this 500 watt lamp. After the exposure of the cells to the raw compound and light, we will wash the plates with cold PBS. and after washing, the cells will be collected with trypsin according to standard protocols for further processing and freezing of the cells. So in case you want to perform a nucleotide excision repair assay, you have to expose your substrate cells to UV. The best thing is to use a UV dosimeter to actually assess how strong your UV lamp is. So use a UV dosimeter, put it in the middle of the hood, just to assess. So you see it's uh, way too high if you want to reach one joule per square meter. In order to reduce the UV exposure, you can actually use some kind of gauze and you have to estimate how many layers you need to reduce your exposure. So in this case, I am using four layers on top of each other to reduce the UV exposure to a measurable timing. Put it on top of the measure instrument Now you see that we were actually able to reduce the exposure to 10, 9, 10 microwatts per square meter. So that means that it's a measurable timing. We will actually only have to expose for about 10 seconds. Okay, so now exposing the cells, we have UV cells in PBS and non-UV, well, the ones that are not going to be exposed to UV. So the cells that do not get the exposure, you just put them in the incubator away from the UV light. Put them in the exact place of the measuring device. Take off the lid because plastic will reduce the UV exposure. And put the box. After UV exposure, you will wash the cells, both the UV exposed and the ones that not have been exposed, with cold PBS. And then we will further process them for uh, trypsinization and collection of the cells.